Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the morning, day 38, and I've been busy trying to get all the stuff I can get crafted downstairs done. I've got all the cement and um, all the wood frames that we can possibly get. But right now, today, as promised, we're going to go ahead and loot as much as we can. I see that I forgot to put my bullet tips away, but not a big deal. Hopefully this stuff doesn't disappear on us, because I've been waiting all, all night to try and come wait for this in the morning. Uh, in the loot tables, I increased how much gunpowder you get. It's not by a whole lot, but it's more than what it was before. It's just to help to make bullet crafting a little bit easier in the early game until you can find uh, ore deposits. Because uh, right now, potassium nitrate is really difficult for me to find. Although, if you're using a, a fresh world with a brand new install of my mod, you won't have any problem finding any or deposits of all kinds, because each deposit will have a little bit of everything in it. Back to the way it was, basically, in earlier alphas. And that's one of the things that I added here, pom-poms. We scrapped those right away to get plastics out of them. So now you can see which, which ones are the cheerleaders. Most of these will be cheerleaders in here, I think. You won't see as many shoes, all these shoes, all the time. You'll see skirts more often. And, and then you'll see junk loot like that fishing weight. Probably could tweak the the pom pom amount down a little bit, but it's there to give you plastic mainly. Other than that, it's not really there for anything else. You can sell it at the trader though. You'll get some for it at least. Uh, da 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 da. We got so many clothes. I mean, it's good stuff to sell at the same time. You don't actually have to step on the, the spike to get freaking infected. Or not infected, bleeding. And we have to be careful because screamers could come out at any moment because I'm running all those forges down there. I'll probably tone down the pom pom a little bit. We got lots of lead, and the fishing weights hardly any lead anyway. Although you can sell the fishing weights too. Honestly, we got like infinite claw. Football helmets are probably worth keeping because they'll probably sell for more than some of this other clothing. We can make denim pants anytime we want. I really want those as well. Yeah, it's not a hard decision to throw away some clothes when we got freaking so much of it. 
just don't want to take a trip to the trader like anytime soon here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Um, did we get all this stuff? I think we did. Gunpowder, we got bullet tips and bullet casings and stuff like that. So, I wanted to do that. Excellent. Forgot to drop off some of that plastic. You can see here that we've got quite a bit of cement being made, so that's pretty good. We're getting a decent amount of it anyway. I'm gonna have to be mining for more stone probably so that we can get more sand. We got a little ways to go there. I'm storing all of the concrete stuff in here. So cement and that will go in there. See I'm trying to hurry the, the concrete along as much as possible because the sooner we can get all the concrete then the better.
these ones just spread out? Yeah. So yeah, that's good. We're keeping it up. Keeping it going. These ones here I'm not going to use at all because I probably won't need them. I'm surprised no screamers have come in yet. I want to craft uh, some skill books because that's what I brought these things down for. But I'm not too sure what I want to make yet with them. So. Okay, so we've got more nails. We can make more wood frames. We got another 200 there. Yeah, I'm waiting for a stack of 500. Then I'll throw them up in there. Then we'll have 1500. That'll be that'll be a good start. We can maybe go and work on getting a perimeter wall set up soon, and we'll upgrade it to concrete and all that. Where it's going to take a few days before we can actually do any of the real fun base building. Because I want to get the perimeter wall set up, get the spike set up, get an entrance made into the wall like I normally do, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to bother repairing that stuff. And we are tired, so I should rest real quick. I should have done that while I was doing the time lapse. So I'll just skip this bit ahead. Okay, let's go kill some zombies or something. Clear out the area. We're starting to spawn back in now, so... These are just regular, regular spawns. No hordes or nothing at least. So they'll be fairly easy to take care of. Now I should show you guys in my skills that I did actually already upgrade my last Miner 69er because I kept putting it off, putting it off. I wanted to show you guys, but then I was mining it. I decided to go ahead and do it. What I need to do is get my tool smithing up so that we can unlock uh, the nail gun. That's not what we need. What we need is the pickaxe. So it's not construction tools I need to look at. It's actually mining tools. Mining tool crafting. So I want to get this set up. So I need to get my tool smithing to level 40. And I don't mind spending. Boom. See, that's what I give the options for with uh, this quest system here. This kill 50 zombies or whatever. So it gives you five skill points. So it's either, either you can choose to grind out your crafting, or you can choose to grind out killing zombies. And then that's the trade-off, and then you can use those skill points for crafting crafting skills, like all of them, so like science, anything that you don't feel like crafting, tailoring. Obviously in the early game, that's when crafting skills actually do matter the most, you feel to get those extra skill points very easily, like we are right now. Well, other than if you can get your Molotov cocktails, as we learned, once you get Molotov cocktails going, hell, there's the sky's the limit, you can take out hordes of zombies with just like three or four cocktails. It'll actually take three cocktails to kill a zombie now, but I mean they all group up and one one cocktail can kill or can uh, spread across ten zombies if not more, right? So use three cocktails on those ten group of zombies, that's ten zombies dead instantly pretty well. Well, not instantly, but the amount of time is pretty much nothing. So yeah, now that we can get the, that steel, let's go up and let's make a steel pickaxe actually and we'll melt this metal back down. Oh shit, I looked away at the last second, was hoping I wouldn't hit it. Yeah, this forge up here is the one I'm keeping for basically the metal and stuff like that, because I don't feel like transferring all my metal and stuff down into the forge down and down below. It's not a big deal though. So let's get uh, forge steel. How much can we get? 172? Sure. So I'm gonna need clay. So we are gonna have to go grab a bit of clay. 
maybe I'll just wait and do that off camera. Because it doesn't take long either. Let's go down there. Let's go make one. And I do have my thing set up down there so we can just drop down if it lets us. There, we just fall down. We don't have to worry about breaking our legs. This steel pickaxe is going to help us out a lot. I want to get more lighting down here so that I don't need to freaking have my headlamp on. It's a steel pickaxe. Let's craft that. Let's just test it out real quick. I'm not gonna mine or, or anything for a while. I'm just, I just want to see. So yeah, two hits with a level 236. That will turn into one hit, I believe, at a level 600. At the most, it might be two hits still. Either way, but it might turn into one hit. I can't quite remember. But yeah, that's way better. Look, we've already, that's all it took with, yeah, okay. Well, that didn't take long. I need this little bit of stone anyway, so we'll make those arrows. Make a nice little entryway here. If nothing else, at, at the level 600, even with zero stamina, I think it's only two hits. Don't quote me on that though, because I haven't got there yet. I haven't got that far to test it. But that's just what I think it is. Okay, so. I don't want to be keeping all this extra stuff on me, like steel. Forged iron. I'm not repairing anything anyway, so if I need to, I always just craft another one. I go dump it in. But I should keep Forged on me for repairing the iron club in the heat of a moment, because that's a battle weapon. Or a battle item, I should say. Yeah, yeah I don't like that extra stack of arrows on me either, but that's not a big deal either. Iron, we're going to take upstairs. Let's go hunt some more zombies for a little while. We're pretty much running out of time. And like all I'm doing is waiting on uh, those resources. Once we get enough of those resources that I'm comfortable with what we've got, then we'll just take them all over to the new area. And we have to clear out the area and then start base planning. Hopefully you guys are into that anyway, because I know I am. That's my favorite part. don't need any wood. I am dropping off these jars, but actually that's not probably not a good idea because I need the extra space so I don't lose them per se. Oh, and I did upgrade those already, so I filled them with compost since the last time. I, I forgot to show you guys on camera. I figured I'd just get it done and over with. And we're still waiting on these because we already looted those. Let's go kill that zombie. run out this way. These guys now have a chance to give us melee weapons, so... And that includes the new shock weapons that I've added. Well, I added those a while ago, but... You'll have a chance to find shock weapons before you have a chance to craft them. Which is pretty nice. I 
I really want this blunt weapon skill to go up, so that's kind of why I want to battle these guys. Plus, it doesn't hurt to clear the area. Ten of these arrows, so we can get them out of the range. Preferably not miss with them, though. snag her in the head. Oh, she moved. Damn it. Damn it. Don't move. A little too high, maybe? Must be. Yeah, it must be too high. This hunting rifle, I beefed up its damage just a tiny little bit, as I noticed it was a little bit weak for a 7.62 ammunition. So I just want to test it out real quick. Oh, killed her with one shot, which is probably what it should be doing. I don't know, I felt stuck there for a second. I I don't want to get hemmed in there. Let's go take out these guys. That was two shots to the head. Did he die though? Where'd he go? There he is. Didn't die. Boom. Yeah, that feels better. A lot of pistols dropping, that's for sure. Almost don't even need to craft weapons, they pretty much drop all the time. I might have to look into that. Sleeper. Good thing I've got my immunity for infection right now. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to do was get my venom. I couldn't find my venom glands. Oh, I bet you I know where they are. I bet you they're in the fridge. Well, the washing machine slash fridge that I've been using. I was going to try and get my venom immunity going. Did I loot everything in here? No, I didn't. And how did I... 
Yeah, I didn't take everything out of here. Whatever, we'll... I want to read the challenge. Accept it. What can we get rid of? I want to take that and just drop that. Now you're not have to worry about that container anymore. Clean up this mess a little bit. We don't have to, we will go away on its own, but I prefer to. We can leave those other ones, whatever, it's not a big deal. I just don't want them everywhere. It's too bad I can't get the heat map to go onto them. If I knew how to code in C sharp, I would. I'm like very, very very like fresh and new at learning how to do the C sharp stuff. Like I can only mimic what I see is already there basically and even then it's not easy. Like I have to copy the code line for line. Someone actually had to do the fix for me for the the harvesting. Because the fun pips have like a rounding error. It's not an error, but when you harvest blocks it rounds up to the nearest number. And basically that means that you can't specify an exact amount of harvest materials. And that, that really bothered me, so I got someone to fix that for me. And I just copy the code from the DLL for each update. I want to keep some of these clothes, especially the business clothes. Yeah, and I think I've got my venom glands in here, so I will take one. So I will poison myself. And we'll do that for the next however long it takes. Four or five days, probably only three more days, and then we'll be fully immune until we die. If we die, then we lose our immunity to the poison. But it's nice to have that immunity, because then you don't have to worry about getting uh, poisoned four times in a row, which is what the deadly part of fighting snakes is, and they're so damn hard to hit. They don't hit hard, especially with armor on. You can take on uh, quite a few of them probably at once. I mean, especially if you've got healing items. But then the issue comes down to if you don't have uh, the immunity, then they, they poison you and you're dead. It's instant death. I'll spare you guys the reorganization of my loot here. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.